Welcome to Quill. This is just a quick onboarding tutorial explaining how to go through these screens and start using Quill. The first thing you'll see after you do the microphone and system on Mac and on Windows you don't need to do those things is the about you. Just to explain this, it's pretty simple. You put your name in. You don't have to put your second name in. You can if you want. And then put a little bit of information about you. It is important to tell Quill what your role is and the name of your company and ideally what the company does or organization or school or whatever. And the reason is it will use this to make your notes better. And that's why when you start, when you start putting things in here, it will count down. And then you see the countdown's finished now to encourage you to put more in. So I'm CEO of Quill, an incredible uh, next gen meeting tool. Okay, great. So that's great. And then click some of your roles. You can click multiple ones if you want. It's really up to you. You need to select at least one. And the reason is we use this to figure out what kind of meetings you're in and then what kind of templates you might want. Okay. So the next page, I don't want to bore you with this, but basically this is our promise. Um, it is important because one of the cool things about Quill is your data is actually not stored anywhere in the cloud if you don't want it to be. And if it is stored in the cloud, it's fully end-to-end -end encrypted, which means that even Quill employees can't access it ever, even if we wanted to. End-to-end -end encryption works by you having the keys and us never having the keys. And so it's very clever. And if you don't want that on, it's all stored locally. So even your AI generations and inputs and outputs you, there's no legal right to them we have. We don't store them. We don't log them. Neither do our partners. So you completely own your data is completely safe and there's no record of it anywhere except on your machine unless you choose to share it or sync it, in which case only you have access to it. So that's completely unique about Quill. And we, we're really proud of that. We make a lot of effort to make this work for you. We believe meetings are an incredible rich source of very personal and very proprietary data. And we don't think those things should belong in the cloud if you don't want them to, certainly not with third party providers who will do what you know whatever with them, right? That's us. And then go ahead and log in. Okay, so I'm just gonna click log in and come back. Okay, great.